Assalamualaikum, my dear Amers. Hope so. You all are doing well. I am Ariba Nadeem, and the topic we are going to study today is the surface marking of heart. Really, really important topic. So let's start the topic. Firstly, what you have to do is when you are uh, doing the surface marking, always remember two points. That whenever you are doing the surface marking of heart, you will always consider the costal cartilages, means the ribs. But when you are doing the surface marking of uh, valves, the escalatory areas, you will always use the intercostal spaces. Okay. So firstly, what you have to do is, firstly, you have to draw a mid clavicular line. So here I have the clavicle. Okay. And just you have to take the middle of the clavicle that would be marked as the mid clavicular line. So suppose here is my clavicle and uh, here I'm going to mark, suppose this is uh, the mid clavicular line over here. Okay, so this is the mid clavicular line. The second thing you have to see is the jugular or the sternal notch. You all know very well that this notch over here, this is termed as jugular notch. Or you may also call it as sternal notch. Next point you have to see is the sternal angle. Sternal angle is exactly 5 cm below this jugular notch. And what is 5 cm? This tip of your finger, it is one point, uh, it is 2.5 cm. Okay. So what you simply have to do is you have to put two fingers over here that will be, become 5 cm. So you can see exactly it is 5 cm below is this sternal angle, which is basically your uh, manibro sternal joint. Okay. So you just have to put two fingers and then you will feel a transverse ridge over here. And that transverse ridge is basically your sternal angle. Then there is epigastric fossa. What is epigastric fossa? Basically, 7th to 10th costal cartilage that makes your costal margin. Okay. So, whenever there is a costal margin, so suppose here is, uh, this is uh, first strip, this is second, this is third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth and tenth. So, from here, from 7th to 10th rib, here is your costal margin. And as you can see over here, that costal margin is making an angle with the z -foid process. This is z -foid process and costal margin is making an angle with the z -foid process that is called as infrasternal angle. And you can see that there is a depression over here. So this depression in the angle that is termed as the epigastric fossa. And you will realize it uh, on the body easily that there would be a depression uh, in the region of abdomen and that would be termed as the epigastric fossa. So what I have done till now, I have marked a mid clavicular line, I have marked a jugular notch this one. I have marked the uh, sternal angle and I have marked the epigastric fossa. Now let's start the surface marking of the heart. For the surface marking of the heart, you just have to remember a very easy mnemonic, which is, okay, let me write over here. This mnemonic is 2365. What does this 2365 stand for? So two stands for second costal cartilage, three is for third costal cartilage, sixth costal cartilage, and fifth is for fifth intercostal space. So all these are the cartilages or the reps, but the fifth one is for the intercostal space. The second point you have to remember while doing the surface marking of the heart is that always start from the left side. Okay. And third point you have to remember is that you always have to mark the upper border of all these costal cartilages upper border. Let me revise it for you. Mnemonic you have to remember is 2365. Second thing always start from the left side means left second costal cartilage. Okay. And you have to mark the upper border of all the costal cartilages. Upper border of second costal cartilage, upper border of third costal cartilage, upper border of sixth costal cartilage. Fifth is only intercostal space. It is not costal cartilage. And fifth one is medial to mid clavicular line. Right? It is in the region of apex beat. Okay. So you have to remember all these points. So I've written these points over here that you have to start from upper border of second left costal cartilage and then upper border of third right costal cartilage and then upper border of sixth right costal cartilage. And in the end, you have to mark fifth left intercostal space, which is nine centimeter from the sternal line. Let's mark all these points over here and then you will understand. Okay. So firstly, what I'm going to do is I'm just starting from I have to, you know, I have to see the jugular notch, I have to palpate, then I have to palpate the sternal angle. And in just uh, on the side of the sternal angle, we have the second rib. Always remember, there's no second intercostal space on the side of the sternal angle. There's second rib, okay? So this is second rib. First point I have to mark is second left costal cartilage. So this is the left side and this is the right side, okay? So here I am going to mark my point and the point must be 1.3 centimeter from the sternal line. This is sternal line, the center of sternum, this is mid sternal line. 
as it is 2.5 cm just uh, near to the sternum so suppose here is my first point okay my first point is on the it must be on the upper border sorry here upper border of the rib so upper border of left second costal cartilage and now comes the second point second point is on the third right costal cartilage this is right side this is third right costal cartilage and upper border okay and then i have the sixth right costal cartilage so here i have the sixth rib and upper border of sixth right costal cartilage and in the end i have fifth left intercostal space so here i have the first intercostal space second third fourth and fifth here i have the fifth intercostal space 9 cm from the sternal line this is 2.5 cm okay so just you have to do like this somehow medial to the mid clavicular line you can do like this simply okay so 1 2 3 4 fifth intercostal space medial to the mid clavicular line somehow over here okay 23 65 left and left and then start at left and the middle ones are the right ones these are the ribs and these are the intercostal spaces okay and this is medial to the mid clavicular line medial to mid clavicular line got it and now what you simply have to do is just just do like this match all the points over here and see here we have got our heart so so simple this is the superior border of the heart this is the right border of the heart this is the inferior border of the heart and this is the left border of the heart got it so this is basically the surface marking of the heart now we will move towards the surface marking for the escalatory areas for the escalatory areas the simple mnemonic you have to remember is 22 45 remember all are the intercostal spaces start from the left side okay and for the escalatory areas you have to remember that all escalatory areas lie on the left side except the one which is on the right side and that is the aortic escalatory area okay aortic ones is on the right side otherwise the pulmonary the tricuspid and mitral all are on the left side the mitral pulmonary is like you can remember it like this p a t m pat m pulmonary is in second intercostal space left side aortic is in second intercostal space right side then tricuspid is in fourth intercostal space left side then mitral is in fifth intercostal space mid clavicular line so all are on the left side this is left this is left this is left only aortic one is on the right side so let's mark the uh, escalatory areas and for escalatory areas we have to mark the intercostal spaces not the ribs okay so let's start from the pulmonary ones pulmonary is in left second intercostal space so this is first intercostal space and this is second intercostal space so here i would have left means the left sternal border this is the sternal border okay so in the second this is first and this is second intercostal space here i would have my pulmonary escalatory area okay and then aortic is on right side but on the second intercostal space so second intercostal space right side this is my aortic escalatory area and then i have tricuspid tricuspid is in fourth intercostal space left side so here is my third intercostal space here is my fourth intercostal space over here would be my tricuspid escalatory area and fifth intercostal space medial to the mid clavicular line so here i have fifth intercostal space medial to the mid clavicular line here i would have my mitral valve escalatory area got it so i'm revising it for you again that what simply you have to do is you have to remember the mnemonic 2365 for the surface marking of heart all are the ribs except the fifth ones which is intercostal space start from the left side end at the left side and middle two are the right ones okay the fifth intercostal space is medial to the mid clavicular line just join all the points you will find the superior border right border inferior border and the left border of the heart now the secondly for the escalatory areas remember the mnemonic 2245 all are the intercostal spaces start from the left side all are in the on the left side except the second ones the aortic escalatory area which is in the right side okay so, and the fifth intercostal space must be medial to the mid clavicular line so this is your pulmonary escalatory area aortic escalatory area tricuspid escalatory area and the mitral valve escalatory area got it i hope you have got the lecture if you have got the lecture do like the video subscribe to my youtube channel see you in the next video allah hafiz